So for this video, the instructions say, for the given functions f and g, find and simplify the composite functions. So we have f of x is equal to 6x squared minus x plus 1, and we have g of x is equal to x minus 3. For example, a, they want us to find f of g of x, and then for example, b, they want us to find g of f of x. So the easiest way to understand this is by by doing this. I, I, so, um, for example, if I asked you to find g of 3, all right, hopefully you understand that that means to take 3 and plug it in for x into your function. So if g of x is x minus 3, and I want to find g of 3, that means instead of x, replace it with 3, and continue on with your function, and then simplify from there. So if I wanted to find g of f of x, what it's asking me to do is it's asking me to take f of x and plug it in for x into g. Okay, so I'll elaborate more on that in just a little bit here. So let's start with example a. For example a, they want us to find f of g of x. So what that's asking us to do is it wants us to take g of x and plug it into f of x, specifically plugging it into x with f of x here. So f of x is 6x squared minus x plus 1. Instead of the x's here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace those x's with g of x, which is x minus 3. So that will look like 6 times x, which is x minus 3, squared, minus x, which is x minus 3, plus 1. So you can see for the two x's I had here, all I did was plug in x minus 3, since that's what g of x is. So it's taking g of x, putting it into f of x, and then simplify. So if we're simplifying this thing here, so let's see, the first thing we need to do is square x minus 3. So if we square x minus 3, that's taking x minus 3 times x minus 3. If you want to foil it or distribute it out, you can. Uh, when we multiply that out, we get x squared minus 6x plus 9 when we square that out. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and distribute this minus here. This minus goes to the x, and that minus also goes to the negative 3, making that a double negative, making that a positive 3 now. Um, the next step to simplify here is we do need to distribute that 6 to everything here. So that gives us 6x squared minus 36x plus 54, and then minus x plus 3, plus 1, which is really just a plus 4 there. Continuing on with our simplifying, let's see if there's any like terms that we can combine. There's no other x squareds, so that 6x squared is just going to drop down. I have two x to the first power terms. I have negative 36x and a negative 1x, giving us a minus 37x when we combine those together. And then I have a 54 plus a 4, which gives us 58. So that means f of g of x is equal to 6x squared minus 37x plus 58. So let's do a very similar process, but now we're going to find g of f of x, which means we're going to take f of x and we're going to plug it into g of x. So g of x is x minus 3. So instead of that x, we're plugging in f of x, which is 6x squared minus x plus 1. And then continuing on with g of x, the only thing left there is a minus 3. So there's not much simplifying that we can do here. Um, there's no multiplying. The only thing that we can do is combine these like terms back here in the end. So giving us 6x squared minus x and then now minus a 2 when we combine the 1 minus 3. Uh, that is what g of f of x is equal to. Alright, so we found f of g of x, we found g of f of x, otherwise, that's it for this video.